Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy again. My ears are so, or my horns are so big, they don't fit into my... <laughs> okay, today is day uh, 10. 10? 10. I can't believe we're so close to Christmas. Wow, it's crazy. A year ago, five days ago, <laughs> um, I, it was my one year anniversary that I had my foot surgery. I would have been going around on my, my Tominator scooter <laughs> right about now, uh, five days in. So yeah, that was kind of a reality check. It's, uh, that was a painful time. <laughs> so, but man, I had so much support from you guys. It was fantastic. I, it was just an amazing, amazing uh, time for um, the Yarny community and me because uh, you guys just came in droves and supported me when I was going through that. So, yeah, my foot's doing better, a lot better. Uh, I still have some pain. Um, yeah, but uh, I, I'll always have a limp now and it is what it is, right? Getting older sucks. <laughs> so, okay. Today is, oops, I've already told you what today is. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. No, not now. <laughs> oh, I think I might sneeze. No, I think I'm good. Oh, Trying to get all the cobwebs out of my brain here, I guess. Um, to, it is the 25 days of Blissmas with me and Rosalie at Yarn It Out. Go check out the playlist down below for all the videos and go check out Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches videos. She's my surprise recipient for the 25 days of, of Blissmas. <laughs> okay, so I am doing, um, the... What was it called? 25 fun facts about Christmas. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm just not with it today. Okay. Fun fact. Paul McCartney from the Beatles earned 400,000 a year. Uh, earns 4,000, a year for his song, Wonderful Christmas Time song, which was which is widely regarded as the worst song he ever recorded. Oh, now I'm gonna have that song going through my head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Great. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now you're gonna have to go in. Maybe I'll put a link down below of that song on YouTube just for fun. Okay, let's see. Go into the box and we're going to pick out another gift. Let's try this one. Oh, whoops. I've got two. Okay, we'll try this one. Oh, oh, oh look. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Christmas countdown clothes pins. Oop. See them? Oh, sorry about the glare. It's got one to 25. Oh, those are so cute. Oh, that's adorable. I'm definitely going to have to use those next year. Geez, Rosalie, you might be getting them back. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. I never even thought to do something like that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think um, of what I'm going to do for next year. I'm, I think I'm going to do the 25 Days of Blissmas every year from now on and, um, and just choose different, you know, different people every year or whatever. I think that would be really cool. I already have one person that I'm going to be doing 25 Days of Blissmas with next year. Yeah, yeah. 
because uh, we had a discussion and I feel horrible. <laughs> I just feel really bad. But next year, man, she is on my list. So, yeah, I'm <laughs> I can end up having too many people on my list if I'm not careful. Anyway, thank you so much, Rosalie. That is really cute. Oh, <laughs> speaking of, oh my God. You know what I did? <sighs> Sometimes when I'm on Amazon, I'll put things in my cart that I'm looking at just so I can remember that I've looked at it, but I haven't, but, but I don't buy it. Um, I, uh, I put in there the 25 days of uh, Christmas kind of thing but they're like little boxes that you can put your gifts in for the 25 days uh and and to give someone I was trying to talk to my sister about a project that I think would be really good so I posted it I put it in my uh, Amazon so I could take a picture of it so I could send it to her to give her kind of an idea of what I was talking about then I went to go and order something on Amazon and I didn't realize that was still in my cart. So when I hit send, uh, uh, pay, I guess I ordered them because they came and I was like, what the heck? I didn't order these. And then I realized, oh, I forgot to take them out of my cart before I ordered the other thing. Always check your cart. I tell you, George just, just about did that yesterday. I had a crock pot that I was looking at in there and uh, he went to order something for me, which he never does. He never goes online and orders anything. This year seems to be the year for him. Um, but he went on Amazon and he almost hit pay until he realized that the price was like two, three times more than what the product was that he was ordering. And he looked and there was the crock pot. Oh. I, I said, stop touching my Amazon. <laughs> He's like, well, I saw this and I wanted to get it for you. He said, I said, did you take it out of the cart before you hit pay? And he says, yeah. I'm like, thank God. Oh, my God. Speaking of, I must have been foreshadowing because I was looking at this crock pot uh, for somebody else. And yesterday... George came home and he went to make a pot of coffee. He put the water in the carafe, you know, went to the sink, put the water in the carafe. He's been having hand problems with his thumbs uh, lately. He's got arthritis in his thumbs and he's, it's really bothering him. And I guess it slipped out of his hand. I had the crock pot, the inner part of the crock pot, in the ceramic part in the sink with water soaking it slipped out of his hand dropped into the crock pot smashed the carafe and broke out the bottom of my crock pot pot so he broke two big ticket items in one I get this phone call. I'm in Fabricland with my sister yesterday. He's almost in tears. He's so angry. And he's like, I am so sorry. I just bought that crock pot in the summertime. I can't get mad at him because crap happens, right? Um, I drop things all the time. Even this morning, I was dropping crap all over the place. And I'm just like, you know what? His his thumbs really, are, really are bugging him. And his grip isn't as good as it was now. And it's really messing with his psyche. Because his grip is like strong. Like he could open any can. And, you know, and so for this to go wrong for him, it's really messing with his self-esteem. And... So, uh, so yeah, he, I ended up having to go buy a new 
um, coffee maker yesterday, but that's okay because I ended up getting a Keurig coffee maker that has the coffee pot and it has the K-cup uh, maker. So I, I was actually looking at this for a while, so maybe I manifested this. <laughs> No, but um, so now my my Keurig, my K-Cup Keurig machine, I'm going to give to my niece. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, that it was kind of that kind of day. So now I have to go on the crock pot site and I have to see if I can just buy the inner part of the crock pot and not the whole machine because the whole machine is brand new. And so, yeah, that sucks. But anyways, um, yeah, so I think the moral to this story was always check your Amazon thing because he, <laughs> I, I swear, I must have been foreshadowing because I was, I had the crock pot in my Amazon and then the next day this happened. So yeah, and that was a long way around to talk about that. <laughs> okay. I need more coffee. Okay. So thank you very much. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, I better get off here. Thank you very much, Rosalie, for these. They are adorable. I love them. They are great. Look at these. They're so cute. Okay, so join me tomorrow uh, to see what she got me for the 11th. Oh, 11 is the sign of angels. Yay! It's a good day. So uh, yeah, come back and check me out. Don't forget to go and check out her channel and uh subscribe and thumbs up and all that kind of stuff and i will talk to you later i love you all bye